My name is Lauren Hunter. I've been with the Y for two years now doing STEM stuff with school-age families. Uh, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, they can be kind of the more difficult subjects to kind of do in school, um, but I went to the University of Washington for aquatic fishery sciences. So I have a background in STEM and I feel pretty confident about it. Um, past two years I have done school age summer camp STEM activities where we've, oh gosh, we've done so much stuff. We've done ecosystem tag, we've built computers, we've made water cycle bracelets, we've made boats, all sorts of stuff. Um, but my favorite part, I guess, about STEM would be that it doesn't just teach you like the concepts, it teaches a lot of 21st century skills like critical thinking and problem solving, stuff that really helps later on in life. Boeing gave us a grant for, I think the rest of 2020 is 49,000. Uh, for 2021, I think we're working on 55,000. And this grant is basically gonna help us implement one hour activities in our learning center sites uh, for us to basically supplement part of the learning that they're missing. Because with distance learning, you don't get that like hands-on laboratory experience that a lot of people need for STEM. And a lot of these kids need that. So this program will allow us to kind of supplement that and allow them to really actually learn and understand the concepts because without that it can be pretty challenging. I know that while it's something like everybody can be interested in because it's all around us all the time, it's not something everybody has access to. So a lot of times like STEM learning resources can be something that low-income families don't have access to. Or for example, for me, growing up, I had a lot of support and like, oh, you want to be a scientist? Great, let's go for it. But a lot of families, when, say, a girl shows interest in science, they're like, oh, that's cool. But shouldn't you be focused on maybe, like, learning how to be a good mom or learning about this part of yourself and being more, like, I guess, focused on looks stuff like that, not necessarily, I guess, goals and dreams in STEM. And a lot of homes like just don't support that. So with the Boeing grant, we want to make kind of an equitable place where anybody can really succeed in STEM.